Hey guys, welcome back to Level Review. I have been doing very, very nice, and I'm sending a lot of hugs and positivity to all of you. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a beginner's guide to Murakami. In the first half of the video, we'll talk about how you can read a Murakami book as a beginner. In the second half, I'll give you a few book recommendations that you can start with. Haruki Murakami is an excellent author. He opens us up into this whole other world of literature, of stories, of fiction, of imagination, and he is definitely one of those authors. that you must read at least once he is a genius but it does become a little difficult to enter his world because of how different it is i ran into a few problems myself and on the basis of that i have come up with these tips and tricks if you have any tips and tricks please uh, leave it in the comment section and help us read more murakami books i am in no way an expert on murakami i am only sharing my experience but i'm really hoping it will help you a lot let's begin the video the first step that i have for you is to understand that the genre of the books that murakami writes is very different from the genres you generally read he writes in multiple genres but his prominent genre has been magical realism when you're reading magical realism it is real it is a normal day to day life but you need to be ready to accept any kind of magic that may be thrown in the middle of the book and that is the beauty of the genre as kids when we don't know the real world completely we have this in- insane imagination within us and we use it on our day to day life but as we grow older that imagination subsides and those story go away from our minds when you read magical realism that is what comes back into your mind and it is so so important to experience magic in a day to day world however it is very different from a fantasy genre in the fantasy genre there's a whole world that's completely magical or mystical or mythological whatever it is it's a whole world with magical realism you have your normal day to day world with elements of magic and mythology in it it brings me to the next step be prepared for these elements be prepared to see supernatural elements be prepared to see magic in your day to day life the biggest challenge for me especially a non fiction reader was thinking how it is so not possible for such things to exist it is so not possible for a person to look like a human being and at the same time be a ghost it is so not possible for you to cross a wall and enter a whole other world there are so many things that were not acceptable to me and because i did not know anything about the genre or anything about murakami books it was very difficult for me to accept all of those things but acceptance is key if you are prepared and ready to accept all these elements you are in for a beautiful creative imaginative very very thoughtful very inspiring treat The third point to keep in mind when you're reading a Murakami book is the details, the attention to detail, the aesthetic of the book. Usually, if you're used to YA thrillers, crime, all those kind of genres, or even non-fiction, you are used to reading through a book to get to the end of the book. You want to see the end result. You want to read the last page as soon as possible. But when it comes to Murakami books, each page is like a piece of cake that you need to take your time and eat it peacefully and like experience every granule of it there are hidden gems of sentences and quotes and writing style and a world that murakami builds for you in every page in every sentence it is not the kind of book that you can just rush through murakami books are not meant for that the beauty is in the details details of the day to day life how he makes us see things in our day to day lives that we don't generally see. ourselves and we are blind to it and how he creates a beautiful aesthetic world for us which is magical and supernatural and absorb its beauty the fourth point is that characters are a very big part of murakami books there are multiple types of books some books are story driven the plot is so interesting that you just can't keep the book down because you want to know what happens next and there are some books that are character driven the characters are so beautiful that you get attached to them and you never ever want to let them go a lot of murakami books are character driven books they are plot driven too the plots are amazing but the characters are just so relatable yet so out of the world it is gorgeous to experience them in your mind also the characters are what keep the balance everything going on in a murakami book is so crazy and insane there are there is weird shit happening and you like you're like oh my god like so much is going on but the characters are so consistent so beautiful throughout the book that they become your anchor you're able to hold on to them become their friend and experience all the craziness with them a lot of characters are people like you 
and everything that is crazy for you in the book is also crazy for them which means that they are also experiencing those things for the first time the way you are experiencing them for the first time and you embark on this beautiful journey together the fifth point is that every murakami book is a conversation in itself it is never a one way story that you read and keep your interpretations matter a lot a lot of murakami books are open ended which means you need to figure out what the ending is it can be anything and if you actually go on google and try to search for endings explain and stuff like that you will see that there are so many people out there who have read the same book who have different perceptions different interpretations and they are all discussing it within each other murakami books form a community where people read they come talk about it and become a part of that book themselves that i can say as a reader is so gorgeous the fact that i'm not alone in reading a book the fact that i am a part of it the fact that whatever i think about the story whatever i think about the characters matters me being part of the imaginary world is like everything last but not the least the writing style is way beyond simple just like the characters are something that root you to the book the writing style is also something that roots you to the book there'll be all this crazy things happening but it's written so simply as if it is the most normal thing in the world one bonus tip i have for you is you can think of a murakami book like you would think of a dream that you have on a day to day basis how your dreams are like of something that you see in the normal world but then something really crazy happens right like maybe you were traveling in your car and suddenly you're in a boat and you don't know how you got over there or maybe you're in the car and suddenly there's this whole other planet that you can see it's crazy stuff like that that is what murakami books are like if you club all these tips together and start a murakami book it will take you one or two books to get used to him but once you do you will always crave that different world from time to time now let's talk about the recommendations that i have for you if you want to start with a simple murakami book which is not cray cray like in the beginning itself you can start with norwegian word by murakami the language is simple the story is simple the writing style is beautiful the characters are amazing this book is everything i just described this book is complete murakami without the insanity therefore it is an amazing first step into murakami world but if you are a kind of person who wants that cray cray who wants to get out of this world who wants to read something that you have never read before who wants the real world to become this insane magical world world with too much happening but with beautiful characters Kafka on the Shore by Murakami is your book oh my god i read this book and i went insane i read this book a little late i really wish i read this as my second book after norwegian wood norwegian wood was my first book because this is where shit gets real when it comes to murakami it is so amazing it is like a puzzle that you have to solve for yourself you have to take a lot of time with it but the gorgeousness the intensity oh my god like when i still think about it i i cannot believe it i cannot believe that an actual human being wrote this book because it doesn't seem like it because i can't believe that a human being thinks like this or imagines like this with the insanity going on there are leeches and fishes falling from the sky there are souls exchanging the body there are people talking to cats all while capturing the beauty of our human emotions it's a dream this book is a complete dream if you want to start with a short story a very very small book and it's very small it's insanely small but this is also the cheapest book and the book is birthday girl by murakami it's extremely small and thin it will take you like 20 15 minutes to get done with it but again it is beautiful if you want to start with a series by murakami you can read 1q84 which is a trilogy i haven't completed this book i really wanted to before i make this video but i did not want to rush through murakami because as as i said you should never rush through murakami again it's one of those works like kafka on the shore with all the craziness and it is gorgeous like how much ever i've read it is beautiful and if you want to stay more in the world of murakami if you want to like really spend one whole month with with murakami itself if you have a long tiring day of work and you want to come back home and be like uh oh, okay let me get lost in another world that can possibly never exist but still exists in our real world this is your book another book that you can start as a beginner but again it's really small though it is amazing for all the book lovers out there is the strange library i listened to it as an audiobook and it was so interesting 
interesting the strange library is more on the magical side than the real side most of the book is based on the magical world with a strange library and a reader and last but not the least if you want to start slow with murakami like with short stories you can read men without women it is a collection of short stories you have multiple short stories so you can take your time with it you don't have to read the entire book at once and gradually step by step you can get used to the world of murakami so yes you guys this was the murakami beginner guide video i will also review this these books more and more in the future videos so do look out for it and honestly speaking it's always been better for me to not know at all what a murakami book is about and just start reading it because then you're just diving into the dark and you start looking at the stars from nowhere so yes you guys i really hope that this video helped you and waiting for the video was worthwhile i'll see you guys very very soon bye